That's the last time we've ever seen a chocolate lab, is mm -hmm. when it was in our yard and it ran off with a chicken. Okay. We didn't do anything to it. We didn't hurt it. We literally did what you're supposed to do and called animal control. Okay. How much is five six? But he's convinced that we do. We filed a report with a swing shift RPD officer on Thursday. Okay. I think it's them over there. It was you, wasn't it, that we made the report? Which, on Thursday? No. Uh, well, there's another guy that similar build and size and look. On Thursday, swing shift, we made a report to. So I would appreciate it if you would talk to my wife, get her side of the story. Mm -hmm. He came in asking if he could talk to me about his dog. I was working on a gun, so I came out, saw that it was him. And my wife, immediately, she's freaking out. She goes, it's him. You need to get him out of here now. He's already being aggressive. Yeah. So I sent her behind the counter, and I told him that he was trespassing and needed to leave. He wouldn't leave. Okay. I told him he was trespassing again. And he said, oh, no, you know what? It's fine. We'll leave. And he just stood at the door getting all aggressive and crazy. But I'm not, I'm not at home. I'm at a business. I have to be professional. Okay. So it's not like I can just tackle him, do anything stupid, say anything stupid, shoot him because... I'm here and this is a business. I have to be professional. He thinks that I stole his dog and I somehow kidnapped his dog. And we don't even know who the fuck this guy is. Dude. He just showed up a few days ago. Okay. And, who, and he apparently lives in our neighborhood because he says he's seen us before. And he, the first time he went in was claiming you stole no, his dog? No, the first time he showed up at our house and cornered my wife. Oh, so he's saying that you guys stole the dog at the house. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck would I steal a dog for? Is your wife inside? Yeah, she okay. is. I specifically asked for you, a suit, to talk to her. Okay, I'll go talk to her. You doing okay? Hey, What's going on? I'm not locking you in to be deceptive. I don't need the public coming in during this. Okay. What's going on? Uh, this guy showed up at my house a couple days ago. Okay. <laughs> um very rude very belligerent very coming behind you. in your face yelling and screaming and carrying on about his dog we filed a police report the other night okay. because he showed up at my front door it was like 5 30 p.m okay and he wanted to talk to my husband about his dog he showed up a couple minutes ago I immediately called 911, and we had customers in here, and he was yelling and screaming and carrying on. He was told to leave the premises no less than three times. Okay. You are trespassing with our property. You are trespassing with our property. You need to leave now. And it's, oh, well, we're recording. You're going to hear from our lawyer. He would not leave the premises. Okay. Even though he was repeatedly told to. Mm -hmm. And this is the second incident in two days, and he is, he scares me. Yeah. I, I'm not the type to get easily shook up, but this is the second time in two days he's showed up and been this way. Okay. And I don't know what to do. Do you have any clue on what the heck he's talking about? He's he's claiming that his dog is lost and that the GPS tracking collar showed him at our house. Okay. We live in a huge subdivision. Right. Are you guys familiar with Camelot? Mm-hmm. My thought on this we have called animal control, Redoso Animal Control. Happy. Between three and five times, you guys check the call log to, to get the number, but we've specifically called because we have these stray dogs, runaway dogs, killed almost all of our chickens. Okay. So animal control has come out a handful of times. The last time they came out, it was a chocolate lab. Okay. And the animal control guy the officer that came Thursday said he was going to look into it further in the reports. Animal Control filed a report, then filed charges on the owner. Okay. So. Was it this guy? We, we don't know. know. Okay. We, we've never, we have no idea if it's even him, but a chocolate lab in the same neighborhood, I'm going to put two and two together, it might be him. Is that what he's saying? It's a chocolate lab? Yeah. Okay. So, his dog is out, lost, meandering, whatever this dog is doing. He claims that he saw me driving in my neighborhood. That's exactly where I should be driving. Mm -hmm. I live there. Animal control, when they filed charges, it was a uh, like a class C misdemeanor, like something small, like a ticket. And this person was going to have to go to municipal court and pay this fine. And we were like, whatever, like, I mean, I don't 
don't care. It's just I need documentation that this dog is killing my chickens so that we could try to get retribution, payment, whatever, and ends up that isn't going to happen, mm -hmm. not in New Mexico. Okay. We were basically told that the chickens getting killed wasn't worth any type of, you know, someone filing a fine or complaint. So it was essentially whatever animal control was willing to do is all that was going to happen. So we just kept calling animal control. Cool. I mean, that's what they're there for. That's their job. No big deal. So the animal control guy said that he made a report. Hopefully you can find it. But he said, hey, you know, I know where the dog lives. It's fine. If I find it, I'll be taking it to the pound. They can pay the fee to pick it up the pound. Okay. Cool. That's the last time we've ever seen a chocolate lab mm -hmm. is when it was in our yard and it ran off with a chicken. Okay. We didn't do anything to it. We didn't hurt it. We literally did what you're supposed to do and called animal control. Okay. This was a long time ago. How is this, this even? This was six or eight months ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. This was not like This is like in the okay. springtime. Okay. So now this dude that we don't know who he is. I've never seen him comes before. to he our house, my house, threatens my wife and gets all hostile with her when she's alone with my kid and I'm not even there. I was here working. Alright. Tells her that we're gonna do this shit the easy way or the hard way, and your husband better come up with my dog, blah blah blah. And she's like And that was last night? Two, two nights ago. Before. Two nights ago, okay. And we, and so we have a, we have a report filed with PD. Okay. So she's kind of in like what the fuck just happened mode, grabs He's the kid, my kid gets in the truck, comes here, comes inside, and I'm like, that's weird, like, what's she doing here? Like, she's supposed to be at home. She doesn't say anything until all of our customers are gone. Okay, what's the matter, babe? What's going on? She breaks down worse than this. She's crying. Some dude fucking corners her at my house. So I'm all upset because at home it's a lot different set of rules than in your store and you have a public image. And she's like, yeah, this guy and all this stuff. She's telling me all the details that we have shared with you. Mm -hmm. I'm back there stripping off a base for an optic to put on a gun for a guy who's going to be here in an hour. This dude comes in, and I can hear him, because he's being loud as fuck, talking about how he wants her husband right now, and I want to know where my dog's at, blah, blah, blah. And I put my tools down, and I walk out and look around the corner, and this dude's standing there all fucking smug and being loud in front of at least three, maybe more customers. So now all these people are freaked out and they're like, oh, fucking making it for the door. And who the fuck does this? Like, this is the second time in a row, we have nothing to do with this guy's dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, why don't you come outside and talk to me and we'll fucking handle this. Like, what? Right. So the options of me going outside is I place him under arrest, I kill him, or he shuts the fuck up and leaves. No. Like, that's just standard use of force. I'm not going to fight that guy. I just got over COVID. I'm a cop, too. I have explicit instructions from my management that this type of shit going on, I have to give this shit to you mm -hmm. because they deem this a... A local PD issue. Mm -hmm. If I get involved, then the FBI is going to start showing up. And I fucking hate the FBI. Passionately. So, this fucking guy is crazy. We don't have his dog. I will take all three of you to my house. I will give you an unlimited search and seizure. And you can do anything you want to look for this fucking dog. This is my dog. Y'all can look at him. Rom, Coleman? Shans, all set. That's my dog. Okay. This is, that's mine, that's hers. I guess he kind of looks brown, I don't fucking know, but he doesn't look like a lab, he's a cane corso. Do you guys want to go to my house? I will unlock everything and let you do anything you want in my house. Let me, let me talk with this officer real quick and then go talk with him as well and see, uh, I'll, I'll try and pull some records to see whatever happened with uh, animal control and, uh, and Hopefully we can answer Dude, some questions for this guy's him. Dog. I, I don't think she do. has. There's some. Uh, well, there's a, a fucking Facebook group, and it's like Lincoln County Lost Pets. 
search it. She's found more people's fucking dogs and gotten them back home. What the fuck would I kidnap a dog for? Let me go talk to him, and uh, we'll see what the, uh, what I could figure out, okay? Yeah, go for it. I'll leave the door unlocked. Okay. Uh, when you guys are out there. Can we just figure it out? I think as easy as possible. Okay. And they're saying that he was found the picture. Okay, and they have the video? The uh, audio. Audio of it? Okay. Please, please don't. Please don't. Not really. I knew that shot was what they were business owners and they're doing this type of stuff. So, yeah. well, we don't have it. I think he did some research. So. All right, guys. Have you guys? Number one, let's talk about the dog real quick. Have you guys checked the pound or anything? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. And it's not. Everywhere. It's not Every showing day. up there. It's posted all over Facebook. Shared. Okay. Tons of times. Okay. Um, like I was telling the uh, officer Rodella, uh -huh. um, I have pictures. I have my dog had a GPS tracker, a collar, mm -hmm. a collar. It was at his house. At the time, I didn't know that it was um, we didn't his know, house. We yeah. didn't even know they existed before all of this. Okay. So I just, when I was looking for my dog, I was going up Warwick on Camelot. Okay. And I was tracking the collar. And it says that uh, it said that uh, it was coming my way, my direction. So I'm looking at the phone, I'm looking up, I'm driving, and then all of a sudden the, there is this car hauling ass right there at that 90. So I looked up, I looked down, and by the time he passed me, I mean I looked on my phone and the caller passed me. I was like, oh, my dog is in that car. Okay. By the time I turn around, he was gone. Okay. So I was following the, the, the tracker, and then uh, it, it said that it was at the, that it was at the travel center. Okay. So I took off over there. I was looking for the dog. Couldn't find him. I stayed there for like an hour, hour and a half. It got dark, and I turned on the light, the sound. I was able to find it underneath some um, uh, flower bed. Okay. And it was like hidden, like... Uh, yes. there. It was placed there. Okay. So I got it. We did the report. We called the. Uh, we even went to the security. Okay. At the travel center, they told us that we needed to call a VIA, which we did. And then they told us that we needed to call. Um, Redoso. Redoso. Okay. Which we did, so we can see the the videos because there's three cameras right there. Okay. Anyways, uh, Officer Wall uh, told us the. You might want to check with your neighbors and see if they have cameras. Okay. Which I did, and one of my neighbors had a camera. Okay. That's when I found found out that it was this guy, because that's her car, his car too. Well, the wife. Yeah. The forerunner, and my neighbor sent me pictures of that car passing. And it coincides at the same time. At with the, the same time with the tractor. Okay. So I have pictures of him. Of we him wouldn't driving. be here if we didn't exactly. know for a fact. Right. I have pictures of uh, the tracker when my dog was at his house, and I have uh, pictures of when he. W I think he went up on Warwick, turned around, and pulled us to the travel center. Okay. So I we didn't say anything until Wednesday. Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. I went and talked to. Uh, his wife? No, I think it was, it was Thursday. Wednesday. It was Wednesday. It was Wednesday. And Wednesday. Thursday okay. they didn't call us, and yesterday yes. you had So I went and talked to his wife, and as soon as she heard about, we asked her, hey, have you seen a brown lab around? No, I haven't. Uh, we saw a Russell, Russell, I don't know, a little dog. Okay. I was like, okay, so do you know where my dog is? She's like, no, I don't know where you what you're talking about. I was like, okay, well, uh, I have pictures, I have proof that your husband took my dog. My dog was here Monday, so right there she got mad. Okay. She started giving us attitude and... She just got very demanding. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, okay, ma'am, okay, that's fine. I just want to talk to your husband, okay? I want to do this the easiest way, just give me my dog back and that's it, you know? She's like, well, you're going to have to, you're going to have to talk to him. I was like, okay. She asked me for my number, which I gave her my phone number, and then my daughter asked 
She asked her too, hey, can we have your phone number as well? She looked at my daughter and she's like, no, you already know where, I, where we live. What do you want my phone number for? But she was mad. Okay. So right there I told my daughter, let's just leave. I told her, have your husband call me. I will. Okay. That was Wednesday. No call. Thursday, no call. Friday, no call. Okay. So today I came in here to talk to him. Waited till all the uh, customers were out of the yes. store. Yeah, that was, I, I've been here for, I, we waited for the, what, 30 um, minutes, yeah. 40 minutes. Okay. Waiting for everybody to leave. In the parking lot? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's just where, because yeah. they had customers. Okay. So when they were by themselves, I walked in and I told the wife, hey, I'm here again for my dog. She wanted and got him at, uh, he was at the office, I guess, in the back. Right away, she, he came out and he's like, you need to leave, you're trespassing. I was like, hold on, I'm here to talk to you about my dog. No, you need to leave, I'm gonna put you under arrest. I'm like, for what? I'm just here because I want my dog. I know you have it. Uh, I have proof. I have pictures. I just want my dog. Right. I want to do this the easiest way. You want to do the hard way? Let's go. He's like, go. You need to leave. Now. So that's by the time I was already at the door. So I just told him, hey, then you want to go the hard way? You'll be he hearing from, from my lawyer. Okay. Because, well, we, I didn't... Like, I know where I'm walking in. That's it's the, the, after we knew it was him, I didn't want to go to his house at night. Yeah. Especially not at night. Yeah. Because he's always carrying a gun. I don't carry a gun. Right. I don't like guns. Okay. So, and from what it seems like on his social media, he's a violent person as well. So that's okay. exactly why we avoided going to his house, like my dad yes. said, in the night. And That's why I, it was my idea to come here and talk to him. Okay. My understanding is you guys have audio? Yes, I do. Yes. You might, can, do you mind if I listen to it? Is that of today? Yeah, yes. right now. It's okay. right now before we walked in. Okay. Hey guys, how are you? Good. I can help you. It's me again. What about my dog? Is your husband here? trespassing, you need to leave now. Well, I need to talk to you. No, you're going to leave the store now. Okay, I will. I'm, I'm just here to let you know that I have proof that you took my dog. Okay? Pictures and everything. You need you'll be to you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Oh, we you have. You want to give me my dog back? You'll be hearing from my lawyer. You'll be hearing have, from my lawyer. Thank you. I have pictures of you. The GPS tracker. My dog was at your house. I have I, I, I have proof. I want to do this the easiest way. You don't want to, that's fine. All I'm asking is for you to give me my dog back. If you don't want to do that, let's go the hard way. It's up to you. You tell me what you want me to do. You can leave or I'm going to place you under arrest. Under arrest for what? It's a store. So anyone who comes in is so, trespassing in your eight, store? Eight, 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 that's it? That's it? That's it? You want, you want to go the hard yes. way? He is being aggressive and he will not leave. It's okay, we're recording. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I don't yeah. see how we're being okay, aggressive. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. That's cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask if I, I mean, I think this says a whole lot, <laughs> um, but he does have video in there. I'm going to ask if I can see the video okay. um, just to kind of see... Um, actual the, did know. he say that was violent or yeah exactly what to say what did he we say that i was yes violent, yeah he said that you were not violent necessarily but he did claim that you guys were or not necessarily you guys but that you were being aggressive towards him and stuff like that i think the video we'll see uh or the audio right in and of itself kind of disproves that um but i want to see the video as well just so i can say that i saw that that i saw that just tell him to give us our dog back and um <laughs> but i think he now, did something to him okay now, um, as far as the, I just want to make sure I understand. You obviously, you were tracking the dog, and it was coming your way, and it passed you, this vehicle left. I get you. Or passed by you, right? And then you said that your neighbor had a video of this particular right car? Yeah. Yes. And have all the yeah. pictures, yeah. all the still pictures. So.
That's a 534. That's their house right there. Okay. So my dog was coming this way at 534, 536. So at 544, this is their road right here. Okay. So he, I think he drive up. I'm pretty sure he did with the dog or the collar and change his mind, turn around, and this 90 right here, that's uh -huh. when he passed me. Okay. So he came down Cambridge. You can look at the time, 544. Okay. Uh, my neighbor's house is this one right here. Okay. Right here. So 544. Uh, let me show you a picture of... That's it. Five, oops, that's not it. That's 545. That's him. And that's me behind him. But he was like three minutes. So ahead he wasn't in, his, he was in this? In that one right there. Okay. And do you have the time that's stamped on this? Yeah. 545. Okay. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Uh, 544. He was coming. He was driving down with my with the collar down and that's Cambridge way. Yes. Okay. So he went. That's Highway 70. He went all the way to the travel center. That's right there. Okay. And that's where he placed that. He drove around where the semi part. Uh huh. He drove like I guess he pulled in and just did a circle, whatever, and then. Uh, uh, he, he placed that GPS collar underneath the, <laughs> that flower bed. Okay. Can, can I see the pic uh, pictures again of the, of the two okay. vehicles, of your vehicle and his vehicle? That's his. Okay. Can I zoom in on it? Okay. And then let me see the one of you shortly after. Okay. And you can see the, the time. Um, is that 5:45? So they text you this, right? Yes. They text you that this is the timestamp. So 5:48 mm -hmm. and then 5:45. Yeah, I was I was there at 5:48. So you were three minutes behind. Yeah. The, by the time I I turn around, because like I said, Warwick is because it's too it's a narrow road. narrow road. Okay. And there was a car behind me, so I stopped and she wouldn't go. She wouldn't go, so I went around her and turned around, came down. I came down on Cambridge because I was following my tracker okay so he passed first and then I, I was right behind him yeah when we got to the stop sign on Lancashire and highway 70 yep I thought he uh, my uh, daughter the little one she's like maybe they took it to the pound we cruise over there we didn't see any cars and then I look on my tracker again and it says that uh, it was at the travel center okay by the time I got there like no one was there okay um, I can obviously, so uh, you said Officer Wall was the one that you guys reported yeah, stuff to? Yeah, he's the one that So the, the biggest piece, I mean, that's good evidence that you have right now as far as uh, their vehicle. I, what I would need to be able to hone that in a little bit more is a license plate, which I don't necessarily think we're going to have right now. But the biggest thing that we can have is going to be the video from uh, the travel center. Yeah. But like I said, so I will. I'm, I'm gonna, sorry. I'm going to get a hold of the uh, the travel center today. Uh -huh. uh, I'll call them whenever we leave here and see if we can try and get video. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. I'll ask for uh, specific times and, okay. and a date from uh, from you so I can get yeah. that to them. Okay. Hopefully we can see uh, not only the vehicle, the same vehicle, go through the parking yeah. lot, but see who got out of the car as well. But like I said, the tracker was at third place. Yes. Those yes. Hours. No, I'm, I'm with you. I think uh, I'm going to give you my card as well um, okay. so you can maybe email me all this different stuff Okay. because um, I'm with you. I mean, I think you, you've you done your research and, you know, I think you've and done it, exactly what you should be doing. And like my dad said, like, we wouldn't be confronting them if we didn't know for a fact. Yeah. We waited yeah. a few days before we did anything. Like, we wanted to make sure not, mm -hmm. you know, not start accusing, yeah. but we came because we know, we, we believe we have enough yeah. Evidence, like, I, I think you know, he didn't know what the GPS was, or maybe he thought it was just a, a collar. Right. But not a GPS, just a collar. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But he didn't know it was a GPS tracker. Right. I don't know. So I'm going to, and then I'm going to also ask him, uh, basically I'm going to break down exactly what you have told us. Because um, I don't know if you've been able to get express all this stuff to him no, to make sure to make him give me a exactly chance. to make him understand. Video, yeah. right away so I'm gonna go talk. I'm gonna go talk with him. Explain what you guys have. 
Um, and then uh, we'll, I'm going to go to the travel center or call the travel center and see if they can get that video. Because um, the sooner we and can get that, the better, whenever obviously. Whenever we went to the travel center, like my dad said, there was uh, not only one camera pointing there's in that direction, but there's several. Was, like, several. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So um, there has to be something. After that, or I'm going to also try and look at this video just so I can see the aggression or lack of aggression on anybody's part. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I just want to see for my own self, not just not speculate on what's going on. Um, let me get some of your guys' information. Okay. I don't have, you have your notebook? I left mine at the PD. Let him uh, get phone numbers, and then I'm going to go grab a card real quick and give it to you okay. so you can email me not only the voice recording, but the, picture but the well. pictures and everything that you have, okay? okay. Here's my card. Um, hold on, they're talking in my ear. Um, so, a couple things on what he, number one, uh, Officer Rodella is giving him a trespass notice so he can't come back on the property. Um, so hopefully Will that that'll, extend to our residence? We, we can explain. 10-4, they're wanting more specific. 49? Ten four is that BIA or is that uh, the travel center? Ten four, I'm being told that BIA already has the video. If you can maybe try talking to them. Negative. Um, we don't right now. I'll give. I'll call you whenever we're 98 here. Um, so, I explained the whole situation here. Uh, number one, does your does your cameras work in here? Yeah, she's grabbing footage right now for okay, you guys. Okay, perfect. Um, what he is claiming is number one, obviously, that you guys took his dog. Um, I guess that chocolate lab, and the reason they think that is, is because it that the same chocolate lab that I don't know. That I don't know. They checked with um, the travel. I was travel just asking because you said that you were looking up a report they checked with the travel uh, not the travel center the humane society um and they don't have a, a chocolate lab there so it's not like uh animal control took it recently and, yeah, and took it over to the humane society take animals. right yeah. so it's not there um i'll check with our animal control to see if and when he picked up a, a, a chocolate lab it may not even be the right one the same one well what i was referencing when i was talking about animal control was months back okay when animal control was months back okay and I don't know that he ever caught the dog. Okay. He just made it specific that he knew the dog mm. and that he was filing a report and that he was going to charge the owner. We never knew the owner. Okay. We never saw. We never, I mean, that's not, you guys wouldn't ever tell someone, hey, these are the people that complained about you. So we never knew who it is that we were making the complaint about. We just knew Chocolate Lab Dog ate chickens. Okay. I'm convinced that it's probably them and when they got that charge given to them, but <clears throat> I have the mucus thing from COVID, sorry. When we filed that charge, animal control charge, not you, PD, that they're bitter about that. Now their dog's missing. They apparently are looking for their dog and see me in my neighborhood, and they're convinced that I have the dog. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what day they're so, talking about. So let me explain what they're claiming, okay? Sure. Um, he's saying that he had this GPS tracking collar on the dog. Okay. And so that he, his dog was missing, so he went up um, to, I guess, your neighborhood because that's where the dog was running in. Do they live in our neighborhood? They do. Okay. Um, somewhere, somewhere in that area. So he went up to that neighborhood and uh, was trying to track the dog. Um, That's not the guy that got out of that van, I don't think. Hey guys, we're closed right now. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I saw another, no, there's a chick in there now. That's probably them, sorry. 
Um, it was just weird. He's claiming that, uh, so he's following this tracking device, seeing that it's running all over the place, and it gives GPS and time on it. Um, he's noticing as he's driving in the neighborhood, he's noticing that the tracker is now coming his way. He's going up the mountain, and the tracker is coming down the mountain. So he's looking at it and taking, he can, I guess, record it or take snapshots. I don't know how. But he basically intersects with it or passes the tracker at the same time that, I guess, your vehicle passes him. Okay. Um, the black forerunner. Yeah, that's what I um, told Officer Rodella that because of COVID, we were about three weeks of just home ridden, couldn't go anywhere. We parked my truck, the only vehicle we drove for the last two-ish and a half weeks, somewhere in there, has just been her forerunner. Mm -hmm. Completely believable that he saw me driving a black forerunner because right. I'm the only one that left to get groceries or go to Walgreens. Right, and so what he's saying is that the same time he passed your phone, uh, forerunner is the exact same time that the app on his phone showed the GPS track in his vehicle. And so he okay. noticed that, and so he does a U-turn, actually gets stuck behind a car that's behind possibly your vehicle. Um, follows it, can't figure out where, where it went. He looks on his app again um, and ends up seeing that the um, caller is in the parking lot of the travel center. So he goes and it pinpointed exactly where it was. He reached by a planner, that's by the uh, gas prices sign, um, reached by a planner over there. Hey folks, we're closed right now, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Can I just lock the door really quick so yeah. that this, sorry. Did he give you a rough time frame, like a date or uh, he, yeah, he has, even a week? He has all of that. Okay. So he's saying How he tracked. Well, let me explain. He tracked the uh, the caller or what he thought was the dog to the travel center, pinpointed exact an exact location. He was able to find it next to some planners uh, in the travel center parking lot. Um, and so I guess he called officers that day um, because he thought his dog was stolen. Um, the officers said, "Why don't you check in your neighborhood and see if anybody has cameras in your neighborhood?" And so that's what he did. And it shows uh, on that specific day at the specific times that his GPS shows the dog going by a particular address. They have a camera. It shows your vehicle, or that black vehicle, what appears to be that black vehicle, driving down Lancashire. And three minutes later, him driving behind you, or that car. Um, and then only a few minutes after that is when the caller was found. So that's why he believes that it has to do with you guys, is because your vehicle was seen in the area at very specific times. Okay. So The only time I've been to the travel center recently, because I don't gamble, so there's, it's not like I would be there every day. Mm -hmm. one, of, mm -hmm. one of my buddies, who's less intelligent than he should be for his age, was intoxicated, needed a ride. Don't worry about it. What time? What time was that at again? Do you remember? Uh, five something. Yeah, five, almost five, almost six so o'clock. Afternoon. Almost six o'clock at okay. night. But this is the only time I've been to the travel center, so that's why this basically has to be that. I don't go to the travel center. I don't go to the inn. I just I don't gamble, so I don't mm -hmm. go there. So that's why he thinks it's you guys. What we're gonna do, um, Officer Wall, he's the one that handled the original call. Okay. For for him when he called. He went to the travel center, requested video, and so we could hopefully see who, what, uh, where, Oh, you'll probably went. see me driving the parking lot trying to find my friend. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe they tell you guys to pound sand. I don't know what they're going to tell you. They're very cooperative with us. They, what BIA goes with us. Well, all I know is it was at 5 o'clock and it was when, roughly? At what, what, what day did you go to the travel center? I can look. I'll find out the day that I got asked to come and pick him up. Going through text messages. No problem. Approximately four-ish days ago, but I'm going to give you the exact day. I just I have to look it up. Okay. So when I drove there, it was, hey, can you come pick me up? I'm at the travel center. Yeah, yeah, cool. Don't worry about it. 
I don't need him getting arrested on the res. Not that I have any ill feelings against res cops, but I don't want to see a white dude get arrested and then get, like, fucked with. I drove there to go pick him up because he's fucking stupid and he's drunk. I didn't find him there. As I left, because he wasn't in the parking lot, hey, yeah, and I'm, I'm already walking up the road, and I'm like, up what fucking road and where? Sit the fuck down. Because I don't need him to get a drunk in public or anything else. He's on 70. I flew past him. That's where I picked him up. On the res, but mm -hmm. not like, not far. But yeah, I was at the travel center. Okay. Absolutely was. Because okay. that's where he should have been. Do you have the, it's still the messages? Okay. While that's loading, uh, so I did fill out the criminal trespass notice so he knows he's not allowed to come back to the exigency here in 2814. Can we extend that to the house? We can fill out one for the house as well. Perfect. I would like to do that. Mm -hmm. She's making plans on staying in a hotel because of what he did today. So mm -hmm. now she doesn't even want to go to our home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm shutting down. I don't know when I made the call for service 30 minutes ago. So I'm shutting down three hours early because of this. Mm -hmm. And we've had a handful of customers. What's the home address again? It won't load past Wednesday. Hold on a second. Border Patrol, maybe. I wonder if he knows that it is a federal offense to go on to lie to federal authorities, but I'm sure they don't follow me. It was either Wednesday or Tuesday afternoon. Okay. I can't load the message because it won't populate back far enough. Okay. So, either Wednesday or Tuesday of the week that just happened mm -hmm. is when I got asked. Okay. I did. I don't want anyone drinking and driving, so drove, he wasn't there, and when I got him, I took him home. Okay. And I was gone for about 45 to 50-ish minutes mm -hmm. in that area. Okay. That's how long I was gone from my home. Okay. God, here, if you would, he refused to sign it. No, no, it's still valid regardless. He understands that. Um, if you'll print there, sign there. Do the same on the next one. I'll finish filling that one out. Oh, on the other, sorry. I thought you meant the next sheet. That'll be the one for the house. I'll finish filling out for him. So the other part that's concerning or complicating, and we talked to Officer Wall, is what you said his name was? I don't know if that's who you talked to. That's who they reported their stuff to was Officer Wall. But I don't know if that's oh, who no, you talked to. Oh, no, I'm talking about the guy that was here with us. Yeah, I don't know who that he was. He claimed that he took a video image from someone's security system, got our license plate, got our names, and our address. Okay. In 16 years, I've never worked anywhere where, hey, I have this video, and it's uh, this video, but I'd like you to give me all of the information about the owner. Who's, who gave him that information? That's what he's claiming. He's claiming that somebody gave him? He's told my wife that he took the video of me driving and that he got the information from the cops. Okay. The officer that came here said, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I said... You're right, absolutely not. No one in law enforcement is just dishing out information about stuff. That's not how it works. Right. If I call you and say, hey, I just saw this red car, license plate, so-and-so, run over an old lady. You're not going to tell me who the person is. You're going to go out and find them. Mm -hmm. So I'm concerned at how he found our house and our business. I don't, the video doesn't show a license plate, so I don't believe that statement. No, I'm, I'm aware, I'm, but it, it draws the concern of how did he find us. Mm -hmm. So my prediction, and I really, 
I need you to look for that animal control report. Mm -hmm. As mundane and frustrating as that might be for you, I understand you guys have real cop stuff to do, trust me. When animal control filed that report, there was a kid in a white Lexus who very reasonably could be their child based on the age and the race of the child, driving a white Lexus up and down our street on the phone, taking pictures of our house, et cetera, et cetera. But all we did is call animal control. Mm -hmm. Animal control was in front of the house, and I was like, have you ever seen this fucking truck before? And he's like, oh, yeah, man, that's the kid, his parents on the dog. That's how I think this all ties together. Mm -hmm. So when I told you that we had filed this charge through animal control and we pissed off the owners, now that his dog's gone, he thinks it's me. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how he knew where we lived. His Possib kid, Possibly, I don't know. Up and down the street, maybe the kid was being honest. Maybe the kid was looking for the dog. I don't know. Right. What he's claiming, uh, obviously, that the GPS trackers showed the dog at your house. So he went to that house and asked, did you guys find a chocolate lab? And that's when your wife said, no, absolutely not. And that's when he recognized your wife and you or your vehicles or something as far as it, them being here. To clarify, it didn't go that smooth. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there, yeah. and this is, you know, after the fact. But that's what he's claiming. Um, so, you know, I, don't, I can't prove what he's saying is true or not. Um, we're going to get out of here, though. Real quick, before we do, is there, how do I word it? Is there any reason why the caller at the exact same time and place would show up at the travel center as you? No clue, dude. Okay. Did any other cars show up on this camera that caught me leaving the neighborhood? I, I'll have to look at that at the camera footage. There was your vehicle, another vehicle, and then this guy's vehicle, uh, according to him. But I'll have to go look at the video itself. I but saw if still pictures. he was pictures. following me, why didn't he follow me to the travel center? Well, it was three minutes after the fact. You went by at a specific time. Three minutes later, he went by. And it's on the video footage. So it's not that he was following you. It, it is kind of coincidental that the GPS tracker went from there to there. You're also saying that you were at the travel center at the same time. Yeah, I'm not I'm so, telling you I was there. I'm not even arguing that I was there. Yeah, I'm just so saying. So I went to go pick up a dumbass. Thank you. My big issue is people being on the road, driving, leaving, going in this mm -hmm. direction. Well, all we're saying. I don't know who else went to the travel center. All, all we're, basically all we're saying, is there any reason that the dog GPS tracker showed up at the exact same location as you at the exact same time? No. Okay. Not, I do not know. This okay. is not a me thing. Okay. To also put this into perspective, at any point this guy could have asked and talked and we probably would have helped him find his dog. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys are married or what your situation is, but that dude showing up and right out of the gate, starting in on my wife, cornering her in the staircase between the stairs and the truck, and scaring the fuck out of her, just set that whole tone. Yeah. There was not going to be any... He's not saying it went that way, though, according to him. And I don't, again, I don't know if you guys have cameras or not, but he's saying that's not no, the instance. We um, don't have cameras at the house. That's why it's... And then I'll, I will say this. They, they did do audio recording in here. Although, obviously, I can hear you guys arguing um, and you None telling him to get really out. criminal, though. Well, not only that, but it doesn't seem like he's extremely um, agitated, anything like that. Let's see if she has the footage. Okay, yeah. So that you could take a Watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Honey, where's the baby? Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I know it's not going to change a whole lot for you. I know you're not just going to watch this and walk out and do anything, but do you guys want to see the video? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll all just watch it, but... No, I'm 
all the mucus drainage. This is probably the best angle, but we set this up so that if people come in and do like a smash and grab type thing, right, you, you can see the faces. Okay. This one is angled at the majority of the display, and then this one just catches a long image. So mm -hmm. you'll see them clear here, but then you'll lose it for a second, and you'll get the bulk of it here, I think. How far did you rewind it, baby? Like a minute and a half on accident. It's, it's you can't drag it and drop it. You have to fast forward rewind it and spanky. Because she walks past our doors this way, and then she stops behind the pillar and mills around a little bit. Is there? Can we try fast forwarding a little bit? These guys want to leave soon. Just whenever they come in, let's hit play then. How about that? Because I'm That's still her. out. I'm still out here working That's on the gun. Her. She walked by that way. She milled around. She walked by that way. And here they come. I didn't recognize. Is there audio? There's not. Okay. No. It's like an extra, literally like fifteen hundred bucks. Okay. I can't spring for audio, man. Yeah. No, I get that. It's. You guys probably heard very accurate audio. It's more him, me telling him to leave, him not leaving, me telling him to leave again. Never grabbed my gun, never became hostile, left him the open avenue to escape. He's still not leaving. Every time I'm pointing at the door is me telling him that he needs to leave. Okay. So I feel like the trespass paperwork was valid. Mindy's on camera one with 911. Somewhere in here I told him something about me not having his dog and how I didn't appreciate him, the way that he's acting, something to that effect. Okay. I'm sure you guys heard that, hopefully. Then they leave and he's talking about doing stuff the easy way or the hard way and he takes off to a car. So the way I think about cars is Cars have guns in them. That's why I walked out very clearly to not pursue him. I just stood at the door, watched, because if he got out with a gun, that was going to be it. Mm -hmm. Because that, the way that I saw and perceived his body language, he was just ready language. He was just ready to fuck shit up. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I'm down too. I would have been down to have helped him look for his fucking dog. Mm -hmm. But he didn't want to do that. He is insistent that I have kidnapped his dog. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in here is where I'm asking for a soup. All the customers leave. Does he ever come back? Inside, no. I okay. wasn't going to let him back in. So okay. Was... And does, do you guys ever approach each other again? No. No, no, okay. you're not missing anything after this. They're, they're just, they're I wanted you to see what happened and that I didn't get irate truck. and do anything. Right, like, okay. throwing my hands up, yelling and shit. Mm -hmm. I was just on the phone with PD. Okay. Are you okay. willing to play mediator for five seconds? As far as? I'd like to talk to him without I, his wife. It, yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Because, um, yeah, it's just not a good idea. I don't think we'll do that. He's already trespassed from here. There's no reason for him to come here anymore. There's no reason he can't go here or to your house. 
And so and I don't even know if they're still here. But no, we won't do that because I know it's not going to take five seconds, and I know somebody's going to get angry. Um, we're going to get out of here for now. You have my card. Um, I'll get a hold of you. We have your number. Um, I'll get a hold of you, you know, if anything changes, if he finds his dog or figures out something else. Um, if they do, badass. Like, why have I called animal control all these times? Right. So, do you have any questions for us right now? No, just frustrated. Okay. That's not your guys' problem. Right. So, <laughs> okay. Well, if you, police issue. if you need something, let us know, and then um, I'll keep in touch with you guys. Okay? Yeah, stay in touch. All right, guys. And sorry that you guys have to deal with us. No, it's no problem. Thank I you, hope sir. That you both have a good shift, though. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. They said they initially thought it was a silver car. Mm -hmm. They didn't know until they got the surveillance from the house. Uh -huh. And so when, uh, so they had a travel center looking up um, for a silver car. And they said that they, I mean, they said they didn't have a silver car. They that they did? They didn't see a silver car. Okay. So at the travel center. So then, but it may, but they did, were able to review the cameras. Um, okay, I explained everything to him. Um, I watched the video, and I agree. Um, you, the call that we were dispatched to is not actually what appears to have happened um, through your audio. Um, it wasn't yelling and screaming and very threatening at all. Watching the video, there wasn't any face-to-face -face contact, uh, throwing up hands, anything like that. Um, so I, I would say that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Um, from here, we're going to try and do some follow-up with the travel center, see if we can get some video. Um, did you get the... You got date and time from when you found the tracking device over there um, so we can go straight to that and we can go and show you guys exactly where he was at so whenever you guys are looking at the surveillance because I mean you'll see the the tracker anyway yeah but we can like show you exactly where so whenever you guys are looking at the surveillance you know exactly what you're looking for. okay well I need to call them first um, actually I'll follow you guys over there to the travel center yeah. so you can show me exactly where and then I know exactly what cameras okay. Okay. and then after that then I'll get a hold of BIA and the travel center so we can start getting that video right. so okay I'll follow you guys over there All right. All right. Evan. Well, do you see any that we're going to collect yet? Are you looking for spent rounds? No, any of it really. But as long as it says Remington on there. Oh, okay. Right. On the end of it, they will we'll take it, but I don't think any of these do. Oh, wait. These all say Remington.
I mean, to find on that. In the drawer. Uh, three? Three magazines. Appear to be fully loaded. I think. 30 round? Uh, no, I think those are going to be 20. Seth. There's no 556223 in this house, but there's. What? Yeah. Yep, unless. What about well, what those? Right. Yeah, yeah, those. I've found some cement casings in the drawer in the house. The room, Seth? Yeah. Oh, shit. We'll take those. I did. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I did. But I mean, do you. They're in the drawer? That's kind of random. Yeah. In the kitchen drawer, spent. Let me see. These are, these are 223 Remington. Yeah, me too. Can you take these or no? It's 63, but they're 40. I just put Remington on them. All right, so we'll, never mind. I'm going to take these. Okay. Photograph I did. Uh, you want to photograph the head stamp on it? Yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, I guess there's some kind of GPS system in the vehicle. We're probably going to wind up having to take both of your phones. Oh, really? Because it, it goes back to an iPhone or something. Oh. Well. She's been cooperative, but I don't know that she'll give up her phone. Right. I didn't even crawl in the attic. Um, I guess you it. What? It's safe? Yeah. She opened it. Yeah. Maybe that's uh maybe we're seizing uh Mend it. No, we'll be good with those. Yeah. Did you, you believe it's safe? Because I just said ammunition. Okay. Now we're good. Can you take the mags? Yeah, we're good. We're good with the mags and everything too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I uh, just put uh, ammunition. Is you gonna mend it for the safe? <laughs> just photograph it and take the ammo. Okay. Okay. 
Ask, yeah, board, ask Border Patrol if we can take it. <laughs> right? Did he light up? He told her not to talk either. What's that? I wonder if uh, he did that with the shooting trophy. I wonder how they do it. I bet they check it out, huh? Being the feds, I bet they don't have to issue it out. He told her not to talk. Okay. Because they haven't got a hold of an attorney yet. You give me a call? Yeah. All right. We're probably about to wrap up here. That? We're probably about to wrap up here. Okay. I'll just call him on the way back. Call. Yeah. Grant? I guess he just talked to uh, Scott Key. Uh huh. What's going on? And? I gotta call him on the way back. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna take all the ammo, right? Yeah. Okay. You want them in individual bags, or you want them in the same bag? Same bag is good. Okay. Just, I guess we need to count them. Huh? Count them now. Count them later. Mm -hmm. Might as well count them now. Yeah. I was my the reason I wanted to count them was. If these are, because you just put the 30 round, right? Yeah. What if one of them's got 28? Well, yeah. Normally I load 28 in mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How are you? You're good. They were going to send the train, but COVID is happening. Yeah. I guess there's talk of some train in March or April. Oh, yeah? Tell them you want to go to Las Vegas, Nevada, or somewhere. Right. Yeah, I tried that, and they don't. They said no? Yeah. Oh.
This one's got 29 for 100, right? Twenty-eight in it. What's going on? I'm here. I didn't wash my hands again. Okay. All right. Well. I'm assuming you're going with me. All right. Do you have your? Did they give you your ID or anything with you? Did they at least give you your ID back. Does it, what all does he need? With Just his New Mexico ID will work for me. Okay. I haven't met him yet, so at least I'd like to. Should I just take out the badge and creds and keep everything else? That's up to it's up to you guys. Yeah. Completely your call. Want to do that? May as well, because I don't know what they're gonna want. If you have cash, probably best to leave it here. And the reason being is that the jail will give back to you in a check, and depends on when you get out, you might not be able to get it when you get out. So if there's cash yeah, I don't in there, know if I have any cash or not. Well, if you have substantial cash, I'd probably leave it somewhere here just to be able to get it back. I'm sure they'll be able to lock it up for you. So I just got the badge and creds up. Where's your your second badge? Yes, ride. Right. In the junk drawer in my kitchen. Okay. No, no, no. Your walkie-talkie radios and your ride dope. And you can leave that with whoever you want to leave it with. Can I just leave? It's 26 bucks. Just leave it in there. Can you grab your ID for me? 
And you're going to take your phone with you? Yeah. Okay. We have short. Yeah, we'll do it real quick in a little bit. Just uh, if you want to do that right now, I'll confirm everything and then they can. Are you nights or days? Yes. Yeah, called out. <laughs> Eight four three, so come. Probably ain't gonna work there. Yeah, you can sit down if you need to for a little bit, man. We're not gonna leave just yet. One second, brother. One second. Sorry. Hey, it's Sombrano. Are you on eight? Yeah, I need. No, no. If I could talk to Carmen, please. Hey, Carmen, can you confirm a 79 for me by OLN? It's a 517, sorry, 517 102 598. Uh, told me that if I didn't murder someone, that the judge would release me. They just don't know if it'll be bond or not. And I'm not going to Lincoln, I'm going to a terror. I just got yes. out. Should have a 79. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you confirm it, please? Yeah. And then I'll have yeah, uh, him 1015. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, no problem. All right, bye. Oh, actually, what, can, uh, what's it for? Can you just tell me? It is for... Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's no more yes, extreme cruelty to animals tampering with evidence and large. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay. All right, bye. All right. They tell you what it was for? Oh, okay. So I called Lincoln earlier. Oh. And uh, she sent me everything. So we have a hard copy in here. Yeah, we'll just fax it over here. Because right? yeah. I'm going to have them fax it straight to, the, straight to the jail. We'll just go handle everything over there. Should have just told her that I was on the phone with her. Or unless I can get it faxed over here. Uh, I can get back over here. Like to this office or yours? No, he's going to go up to jail. Hey, Lauren, can you give me Carmen back real quick? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Carmen, can you do me a favor? Can you fax that over? To the border patrol station here. Yes. No, the the actual no the actual stage the office. The main station. The main office. Okay. Do you have the number for it? I don't, but I can find it. Five seven five. It's yeah yeah five seven five. Four three four. Five nine three seven. And I'll go straight over here. All right. Thank thank. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, bye. Calls you back, huh? Yeah, because all the guys are on that fatal. Oh, that's right. That's, that was, yeah. <clears throat> They're almost done. No, I was out there with them. Did anybody let you know what's go what was it's for, Neil? No. No. Told me okay, once I get the hard copy here, I'll tell you exactly what it's for, okay? I don't I don't know either, so. No know as much as I do, and he probably knows a little bit more. There's, there's three counts. There's three counts, I guess, so.
I saw was the front page of the, the warrants. I didn't get to read everything that was actually in it. I just wasn't fixing it. I can't explain anything else than yeah, I can't explain two of them myself. I have no idea how I'm being accused of a theft. So that's... Once we get a copy of the warrant in hand, we'll be able to take a look at it and see everything that everything that's in it. Now the only problem is it's just going to be the warrant. It won't have anything else with it if it's from Lincoln County. Yeah, the search warrant had all sorts of stuff in it. Yeah, search warrant's a little different than an arrest warrant, though. They don't have to include the probable cause statement or anything like that. It just has to be the warrant. So most warrants that come from Lincoln County will just be the warrant that says what you're going to be charged with and then have the probable cause statement. So. So that, but that's something, like I said, uh, I'm sure he's probably already told you, you get, get your attorney, whatever you need to do, okay? Yeah, I just called her. Okay. She said that I'll be out in the morning. Probably, yeah. Basically, I have to go through this so that I can explain everything in court, which I don't understand why I had to go that far, but I didn't get to make that call. Yeah, me and Whitlow got called back out. And I got called out because the guys in Lincoln County were, they have two 45s up there right now, too. Oh, dang. The day for crashes, man. Full moon. And it's almost Friday. I'm off the weekend. So to me, unless it's Friday. Okay. We're just doing our best so we keep out of the eyes of No, it's fine. Yeah, we wouldn't transport you up there anyways. You have to go to the, the closest county, the closest jail facility in that county. But more than likely, you'll, you'll see the judge over video conference. That's how they do it all now. Before, you would actually get transported back to Lincoln County and see the judge in person. Now it's all over video. Yeah, it's, yeah, you you probably actually be out a little little earlier than what you would probably think. And then I'm sure your your bosses will tell you what you need to do on this end, so. It's a, it's a magistrate, too. Is it? Okay. So we just told Joe, get him on the magistrate call us. Give him for another county to do that. I think it's 11 o'clock for those. Or how many are there?
Yeah, they'll take it off you anyways. You can leave it if you want. 